When a narcissist is setting the stage for you to look bad before they even start devaluing you, it's basically preemptive lies meant to set a narrative so that in the long run, the outcome will be they look like the victim, they look like the innocent one, and you look crazy. They will often do this with smears ahead of time. So they may have many social circles. We're talking here more about a very covert narcissist, someone with covert tactics for how they show their narcissism. So in their social groups, they may be the good guy or gal where they are helpful and they are friendly and everyone thinks they're really nice. They may be more subdued or more subtle, not so overt. So people don't see them as charming. They see them as friendly. This friendliness is almost overt. It's almost like that is their form of overt narcissism, right? Where they are literally, if you if you asked anyone, they'd say, yeah, that's a nice person. Okay, and so they're out there doing this and at the same time, they start planting the seeds in the minds of everyone around them and everyone within those social circles about how you aren't right, how there is something not quite right about you or that you're angry, that you're depressed, that you're going through something. In other words, they're pointing out your private things that are happening within the relationship when you're feeling hurt from their gaslighting and when you're feeling hurt from their toxic abuse, right? And they are calling it things like depression or they're calling it things like having a bad day or going through a hard time to other people. And they're doing this all the time, subtly and slowly building up a case against you before they discard. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic people and narcissists in your life. Now, I work with a lot of people in coaching and this is one thing that is very hurtful to people because what happens is they lose entire communities, they lose friendships, they feel betrayed, they feel lied about, they feel smeared and when you feel smeared you tend to get reactive you tend to want to defend yourself of course you do because you're being lied about you were lied about in the first place and the person that was in your life at the time say this narcissist has been setting up these lies these preemptive lies for years okay and when you think back on the relationship and you think wow nothing was really bad back then that was back when it was still okay and they were already doing it the betrayal is phenomenal and people often will come talk to me about having to process this part because getting through this is like grief. It's betrayal. It is more than just a narcissist being a narcissist, right? Like it is more than just the fact that they're gaslighting. They're literally smearing your name out there to people who have nothing to do with you, people who have or people that you actually know in social settings that you would like to have the relationship stay either superficial or friendly or at least so that you have support in the community and they take that away from you. They topple the community around you and they leave you isolated at the end of it. Have you had this experience where you have discovered that a narcissistic person has smeared your name preemptively before there's even problems in the relationship to a community of people, to your family, to your friends, to anyone else, and then seeing the after effects and the aftermath of what happens in your life. If you have and you feel like sharing, let me know in the comments. This is really difficult because what can you do about this? Truly, this is a smear campaign set up way ahead of time. This has been seeded into the minds of people and it's almost like any reaction you have to it, any defense you have to it will look like you're protecting yourself from something that's actually real. It will reinforce oftentimes the narcissist narrative. All right, so this is one of those tread lightly, keep your head high, have self pride and self worth to know that it will pass. People will see you for who you are. Oftentimes when people split up, 
people start to then see each of you as an individual. When they see you together, they see you as a couple. Does that make sense? So allowing for that individuation from the narcissist to happen within the group of people, letting the dust settle and letting people get to know who you are truly versus the narcissist's interpretation of who you are. And then what happens sometimes, and this is a challenging thing because it takes time, Sometimes what happens is the group will see something's not right about that narcissist interpretation of things. And they will start to see the narcissistic person maybe for who they are or maybe a little bit for who they are little by little and hopefully begin to see you for who you actually are. And then it will all make sense to them. This isn't easy because it isn't fair. And it's not going to be fair. The narcissist doesn't want fairness. They want what serves themselves. 